I don't know who else is bringing you a live Willie Nelson concert. The other one is essentially sand. You can see it behind me. It's basically made up of sand, some rocks. They're going to put this stuff and that chat on uh, area roads to give drivers some traction. She came out to find just an absolute mess. Her ceiling had caved in. There's still sheetrock and just trash everywhere. Her roof top was just ripped off just in this area with storm damage alone. There are roofs all over the street. In fact, this building has a piece of wood lodged into the side of it. Kelly and John, I can at least tell you that that sprinkle has definitely turned into rain. In fact, some rain fell on my lips a moment ago and it turned to ice. If you are a big Willie Nelson fan, I'm going to be sitting down with him later on this evening. We're going to be bringing that interview to you. You can see there is still tape over the window that was shot out sometime this weekend. What about where you are? Do you, any idea if it's slick behind you uh, there on the interstate or on the access roads? Well, we're right near downtown Waco along I-35. I've seen some cars as they're pulling out onto the frontage road kind of slip. So it's definitely icy out here. Best bet to stay home. But John Kelly, there are a lot of cars out here. They want to expand it up into Dallas, meeting up with Loop 9 in Dallas. It's a similar proposal to the TTC. Everyone is clearly cutting back, but as mom and dad tighten their wallets, their kids are taking notice. The FDA is warning people to stay away from food made with peanut butter. He's charged with capital murder and aggravated kidnapping, and he's only 15. A wintry mess on a New Hampshire interstate caused quite a mess this morning and an unbelievable traffic pileup. Clean firefighters will get some help when it comes to battling grass fires. They hard to believe it was 80 degrees. Now it's going to be below 30 tonight. Oh, we saw like sparks flying, you know, from the power lines. I mean, it's like Armageddon in time stuff. Here, so <laughs> it's crazy. They can laugh about it now as they survey the damage left behind because incredibly through all this whipping wind and drenching rain, there were no major injuries. Uh, we're getting ready to go to bed and all of a sudden we heard all of the wind and went outside and everything started just falling apart. Most of the damage left behind is scattered throughout downtown Waco. Drivers forced to navigate through intersections on their own as street lights were out along with power across the area. We had to go through a few trees to get here to move them out of the road, but once we arrived here, we found this mess out here. Waco police and firefighters arrived at the intersection of 26th and Gorman to find this. Snap power lines and huge chunks of roof scattered throughout the streets. Yeah, I mean, we're looking down, we look down, down the road. I mean, there's a stop sign uprooted from the ground. I mean, there's roofs. Just in this area with storm damage alone, there are roofs all over the street. In fact, this building has a piece of wood lodged into the side of it. Well, it took a portion of a backyard fence out, a big uh, metal gates. Neighbor lost all of his chimney, yeah. so it was pretty tough. At I-35 and University Parks Drive, more roof problems as a nearby building damaged by the storm left debris scattered, forcing police officers to clean up. It's going to be a lot of mess for somebody to clean up tonight. City work, street workers are going to be busy. Dozens of residents living at the Austin Arms Apartments had their windows busted out from the wind. Even a radio tower on the top of the building came crashing down. Unfortunately, this is only a quick snap of damage left behind. In Waco, Erica Harpold, NBC6 News. It's the only thing we could do to pray. It still hasn't sunk in for June Davis after a storm passed through late Tuesday night, destroying the home she's lived in for more than 30 years. Floor. <laughs> and we did. Her neighbor, whose family has owned the mobile home park for almost 60 years, had five other neighbors hunkered down in her kitchen while the storm passed. And they said, let's go to the storm center, let's go to the storm center. And I said, it's too late now, I hit the floor. <laughs> I mean, it's just a loud boom and, and the house was shaking. When we heard the noise, uh, we all, we were in the kitchen and we huddled together and then it hit. Once it passed, the huge mess left behind was incredible. Bearden's ceiling caved in and her roof blew off, leaving gaping holes in her ceiling and piles of debris in her backyard. Really, it happened so fast we didn't know what was going on. I mean, it was just here and gone. So if you look down, there's literally trash all over the ground, but also if you look up, there's trash in the trees. That used to be somebody's roof.
Family members and friends pitched in to clean up. This man chopped up a tree uprooted by wind. In a matter of minutes, lives changed forever. These residents will have to move because their homes are destroyed. We lived through it, so that's the main thing. Despite all the damage, residents were amazed no one was hurt. In Hillsboro, Erica Harpold, NBC 6 News. And even some mice. Late tonight, two dogs, two cats came in. Go ahead and take a look. This is the lobby here at the Waco Humane Society. All these dogs, cats, birds, mice, as I said, uh, they will be able to stay here until Ike has passed. Lopez and her husband arrive in McLennan County from Aransas Pass. They filed off a bus with their three-year-old dog, Clyde. He, too, would be needing some shelter from the storm. We love it because our, our dog is our it's our friend forever, so it's, he's like a little baby for us. Our children are grown up, so we now take care of our pet. Once registered and photographed with his owners, Clyde will head to the Waco Humane Society, where he'll stay with a number of other four-legged friends from the coast. We don't want people to have to leave their animals behind to fend for themselves. You know, a lot of people, these are their family members, so we want to give them the same care that we would try to give to anybody else. The shelter is prepared to take in as many animals necessary to make sure hurricane evacuees have a safe place to keep their pet. Um, emotionally, these people are stressed. Their animals are stressed. We can provide that safe haven and a soft place to fall for them and the animals. Meantime, some area foster families are making room for the guests by temporarily taking in some animals already living there. There's anything we can do. I mean, there's not a whole lot, but if we can help a little bit, it'll, it'll help out. They're preparing for the worst, setting up makeshift shelters under tents, stocking up on donations and food supplies, all the while hoping for the best. To avoid any confusion, each animal's cage is clearly marked, and they're getting some extra attention while they wait out the storm. Now, workers here at the shelter are doing their best to keep uh, the evacuation animals separate from those who are normally already living here and waiting to be adopted. They do still need uh, volunteers and donations, not so much food donations, rather just uh, supplies to, to uh, take care of these evacuated animals. We have a sleep at the wheel. Erica. Hey, uh, John Kelly, I don't know who else is bringing you a live Willie Nelson concert, but we definitely are here at KCN, so I'm going to get out of the way so you can listen in as he plays Hesitation Blues. Pretty awesome stuff there. You know, he's been with his band for decades, so that is just a family affair. I had the awesome privilege of sitting down with the man himself. We talked about his efforts to bring biodiesel to his old stomping grounds where he grew up. Many of you know he grew up in Abbott, so it's extra special to him to be able to build this place where he was raised. Well, you know, I... I feel like that I've learned practically everything that I know by growing up in this area. Uh, there's not anything that you could learn in New York City that you can't learn down in West so, <laughs> or Waco or any of these places. So. Willie's Place not only pumps biodiesel, it makes the fuel right here at Carl's Corner. And it has two music stages, two bars, a restaurant, souvenir shop, and a convenience store. They also broadcast uh, Willie's Place on XM Sirius Satellite Radio. Pretty cool place. They actually want to bring musicians here weekly. So if you haven't seen it, come check it out. It's open. Willie's playing right now, so definitely a good time and a great place to be. Erica, you lucky dog tonight. I know. I definitely am feeling lucky. These are the days that you just absolutely love your job. I'm definitely excited about this. I'm standing in the main stage area of Willie's Place. This is a really big complex. There's a, a restaurant here. There's two bars. There's a, two concert venues, indoor and outdoor. There's just a lot of stuff to do here. Those fans couldn't wait to get their eye on this place. You know, uh, I bet you would agree out there, there's really nothing like a Willie Nelson fan. He's so down to earth, he's for the farm people, farm aid, and I'm an old farm daughter. I can really relate to him, even though he's probably a little bit older than me, but his music, I have a couple of his albums, and I can just relate to him because he seems like common people, even though I don't know. 
You know, of course, there are those pumps that serve the alternative diesel fuel. They actually make the Bio Willy here at Carl's Corner. It's the only station like it in America. So a very cool thing happening here. Willie Ray Benson asleep at the wheel, taking the stage around 9 o'clock tonight. They're performing tonight and tomorrow. Unfortunately, though, those concerts are sold out. Too bad, but if you are a big Willie Nelson fan, I'm going to be sitting down with him later on this evening. We're going to be bringing that interview to you, so you'll definitely want to see that. John Kelly, I'm going to send things back to you. All right, have fun, and we will <laughs> see you tonight at 10 o'clock.